Jordan, first of all, as we always say in this type of interview, a very warm welcome to the New Saints. Born in Warrington, you played non-league football for the likes of Barrow, as they were then, Bursco, Northwich, Victoria. Yeah, yeah. But, um, my old background's basically from non-league. I've never been in an academy or anything, so I've just worked my way up when I've eventually gone into the football league. And you certainly worked your way up because from there, Rochdale come knocking the door. Yeah, they did. Um, when I was at Barrow, I had a good time there. Probably one of the best times in my career. And then Rochdale came knocking on the door and it was my first football league move and I snatched at it. And did that come as a surprise to you at the time? Um, no, I had interest from the football league this season before and in the January a little bit. but So I kind of expected it because I knew I had a good season like with stats and that. And then but, um, I was kind of expecting something. Rochdale was a surprise because of the team. They hadn't been interested before, but yeah, it weren't too, too much of a surprise. And how did you find the step up in terms of quality of play from non-league that you, you were used to, to playing for Rochdale? Um, the quality of play was, was a bit better, like, but I, I found that the, the, the standards were higher. You had to be a lot fitter because the game moved quicker. Like the quality of players, that I don't think it's changed. There's a lo load of quality players in non-league, but you, you, I just found you had to be a lot fitter because the ball moved quicker. You had to be a bit sharper in, up there and stuff like that. And while you were there, not only did you play for Rochdale, but also on loan at Lincoln City. Yeah, I weren't getting much game time at Rochdale, so I got a chance to go and play at Lincoln in League 2, and they were pushing for promotion. So it was, it was a new challenge, move away from home for a couple of days a week. Um, and they had a really good, I had a really good time there. I enjoyed it under the Cowley brothers. Mm. Zone. It was a good experience for myself. And then from there to AFC Fylde. Yeah, Fylde, um, Rochdale did offer me a new deal. So I went to Fylde to try and just play football again. And I, that was a very enjoyable season at Fylde. Just got cut, cut short. Um, didn't do us any favours, but I really enjoyed my time, my short time there. And then still in non-league football, but still at a, a good level Stockport County yeah it was my old manager from my north which days he signed me there um, seemed like a good move at the time I was enjoying it beginning of the season I had a little injury but didn't play much towards the end of the season that's where this move came about in the end and we've just had a quick run through of your career yeah, to yeah. date but of course what people want to know is the new Saints when did you first become aware that TNS was interested in you um, a couple of months back now um, I had a few um, phone calls. Ken McKenna used to be here, rang me, just asking what would my thoughts be on it and stuff like that, and then just giving me a bit of information. And I had a couple of other people. So I knew the interest was there, so I knew that it could be a possibility in the summer. And obviously you had other clubs interested as well at various stages of interest, I guess. What was it that swayed you to put pen to paper on a deal with the New Saints? Um, probably that they wanted me. Um, that he wanted me to come and sign and I spoke to the manager as well and he told me, told me through his plans and now he wants to play me and stuff like that and that kind of pushed it over in the end I was like the manager and the fact that they wanted me so much uh, they showed interest for a while so why not go and give it a go hopefully have a successful season and win some silverware and all the clubs that we've made reference to so far have been in England. What did you know about the Welsh Domestic League prior to the interest of the New Saints? Um, not much, to be honest. Um, I, d I do look at like results and that. I just, when I'm on my phone, I, just, I look at results from all over the place. But I do know TNS are one of the bigger clubs in uh, the, Welsh, the Welsh leagues. I'm a Liverpool fan, so I obviously knew TNS when they played them in Champions League all those years ago. But I didn't know much other than that, to be, to be honest. And you've been at the New Saints just for a couple of days so far, light training sessions, but also probably equally importantly, you've got to know your new teammates. Yeah, we've, it's been a light couple of sessions um, just to get a, get a feel around the place. Um, it's been good to come in uh, to start getting a feel of things, just try and get up to fitness now because some important games coming up. And we have our final pre-season friendly on Thursday against Stafford Rangers. Looking forward to that one? Yeah, looking forward to being out on the pitch more than anything. Can't beat playing football. Uh, hopefully get some minutes in that and then leading up to a good season. So we'll see. Well, if we're all looking forward to Stafford Rangers, then most definitely more so when we go to Northern Ireland next week in the new Europa Conference League. 
yeah, that's um, something that's gonna like never played European football before. I know it's I, we're going to Ireland, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to going playing European football. Um, it'll be different with something that ticked off, but yeah, let's see what happens. And it is the Europa League conference, as we say. And how much of a pull was that for you in terms of signing for the New Saints, knowing that there was European football on the horizon? Yeah, it's, it definitely is. It's, it's a good factor because growing up, you watch European football. You still you watch European football, no matter like what the, what level of European football. So to get a chance to play in it, it's a no-brainer, really. It's another little factor that pulls you towards them. And when we put the press release together to announce that you'd signed for the New Saints, Anthony Limbrick, our head coach, described you as a direct, aggressive forward. You can play across the forward line, get goals, get assists. Is that a fair assessment of your play? Yeah, I'd like to think I, I am a very direct player. I like to get the ball, carry it, run with it. I like to make runs in behind. I've, I feel like I'm a fairly powerful player. And I feel like I can offer something different to what we've got in this team. And I guess that then leads on to what can the fans expect from you? Goals, assists, contribution? Goals, assists and I'll, I'm one of those players who just grafts. I'll run about like an headless chicken at times, but I'll do it. I'll try, and give, try and give me all every game I play. And Jordan, away from football, because we all know the pressures of being a professional footballer, what do you like to do to unwind and relax? Um, just relax with my little boy and my missus. We just uh, we tend to, on my days off, just go out and different go to different places. Just enjoy spending time with the family, really. And football is quite intense yeah. as a professional footballer. How easy or otherwise do you find it to actually switch off and then totally concentrate on other things? I think it's important to switch off. Um, that's why I'm glad I've got this deal done in the end. It gives me a chance now just to focus on my football when I'm in and then on my off day just completely switch off and enjoy my time with my family. And we know the footballers like golf. Are you a golfer yourself? No, not really. <laughs> well, we did have some golf in St Andrews and for those who did listen to our interview with Danny Davis, the score was level pegging between England and Wales. So definitely not a golfer. Nah, not for me that. Football. <laughs> OK, well, there is an initiation ceremony for all players that join clubs, of course. And with the New Saints, you will be expected to sing. Don't worry, not now. <laughs> but when we go away somewhere and it's after a game or whatever it might be, you'll have to stand up and we'll hear your vocal cords stretched. But what are we likely to hear from you? Well, keep that as a surprise. I've done a few now, so you'll find out when I do it. <laughs> Well, we'll look forward to that very much indeed. But Jordan, again, many thanks for your time today. Very much appreciated. And again, a very warm welcome to Park Hall. Thank you. Thank you.